What's up guys, so in this video I'll be taking a look at the Huon 420 Writing Graphics Tablet. So this is a drawing tablet, you basically hook it up to your Windows PC or Mac via USB, and you draw and write on it and whatever is drawn on the tablet shows up on the screen of your Mac or PC. So opening the box we have here the tablet as well as a drawing pen, which you will need to add one AAA battery to, which does not come included. So inside the box you'll also find some spare tips. So before I show you the setup or discuss the quality and build or anything else, I'm going to skip straight to using the actual Huon 420 drawing tablet. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and open up the app, the drawing app. Now this app is called Windows Ink Workspace, I'm going to use that. So let me go ahead and push on that. I'm going to do a sketch pad. So now within the sketch pad, I'm going to basically just draw around it. And what I want to show you guys is that basically if I put my pen over here in the top corner, it's going to draw in the top corner. And here, right here is the, right here is basically the end of the top corner. So if I were to put the mouse here, it wouldn't work. So if I, if I put the mouse in this top corner, it's going to go there. And now if you guys pay attention, since the mouse is right there on the screen, I'm going to touch this right here and you'll see the mouse will actually go to the bottom of the screen. Sorry, it just takes some time to and now. And now if I go to this part, it automatically just skips to this bottom corner of the screen. Now I do need to mess around with the borders a little bit better, but as you can see, I did draw some white out. I did use some white out and I drew some borders right there so that I know where my limits are. Now same thing with this. If I would if I would go to the middle right here, it would draw more or less in the middle of the screen. Again, I need to fix around fix up my borders. It actually does come with borders. I basically just painted over them because they were very they were hardly visible. So now let's go ahead and draw something. Let's let's actually write a sentence. So I'm gonna draw as you can see, and this is pressure sensitive. So if I push, the harder I push, as you can see, I'm going to push very lightly, and the harder I push on this, the thicker the brush gets. And I can mess around with the brush size. So if I were to go to the maximum, I can draw very lightly, and then just lightly and then slowly as you can see as you guys can see I'm pushing harder and harder as I'm going along and that's really cool so it is pressure sensitive I can just play around with that let's go ahead and change the tip back to a usable size so it does take some time getting used to moving around this because it's not like a mouse where if the mouse is there and I want to continue moving it so let's say the mouse is there and I want to move it a little bit more so I can't just choose anywhere on the pad because it's just going to take me to that spot on the screen. So the idea is that this is basically the screen and I'm I'm just I'm just pretending that this is a screen that I'm writing on. So if I want to start at the bottom of the screen, so if I want to start writing at the bottom of the screen, I'm going to write at the bottom of the tablet. So let me just redo that. It takes some time getting used to. Gonna choose a different brush to make it a little bit smaller. Let's go ahead and type now in the more in the middle.
So again, the thing is with this tablet is that the whole surface area is not exactly all usable as you guys saw from the video. It's only the square perimeter that you're able to see and that is basically why I drew these border lines with some whiteout because the ones shown are barely visible. So looking at the pen, we basically have two buttons that you can basically assign any mouse on the key or any shortcut key on the keyboard by simply going into the software and changing it from there. So the actual tablet feels okay, I suppose. It's pretty much the very basic model you get from Huon. Now Huon also does make more expensive drawing tablets, but for 23 bucks, I couldn't resist trying out the basic model. I mean, I guess you would call this the poor man's drawing tablet in a sense, since there are other touchscreen devices out there that professionals use, like the higher end Wacom drawing tablets. But again, at 23 bucks, it's cheap, it's basic, and it works. So there are other settings that you can mess around with to get it to your desired preference, which brings me to something I forgot to mention. In order to use the drawing tablet, you will need to install that CD it comes with. Now, if you didn't have a CD drive, then you can always download the software off the Huon website. It is a small file, so you don't need to worry about it taking up too much space. Now, if you were looking for something a little bit more expensive, you could always look into some of the more expensive Huon drawing tablets, or if you wanted something local, then definitely check out some of the Wacom drawing tablets. Otherwise, that'll be it for now. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll catch you guys on the flip side.